different types of flexible manufacturing systems are sequential FMS, random FMS, dedicated FMS, engineered FMS, and modular FMS. We will talk in details about them. Let's start with sequential FMS. This flexible manufacturing system manufactures one piece part batch type and then planning and preparation is carried out for the next piece part batch type to be manufactured. It operates like a small batch flexible transfer line. Then comes random FMS. This flexible manufacturing system manufactures any random mix of piece part types at any one time. Number 3 is dedicated FMS. This flexible manufacturing system continually manufactures, for extended periods, the same but limited mix of piece part batch types. Then we have engineered FMS. This flexible manufacturing system manufactures the same mix of part types throughout its lifetime. And finally modular FMS, a modular FMS, with a sophisticated FMS host, enables an FMS user to expand their FMS capabilities in a stepwise fashion into any of the previous four types of FMS. Now, let's look into the types of FMS layouts. The different types of FMS layouts are Progressive or Line Type FMS Layout, Loop Type FMS Layout, Ladder Type FMS Layout, Open Field Type FMS Layout, and Robot Centered Type FMS Layout. Let's start with Progressive or Line Type FMS Layout. In this type of FMS layout the machines and handling system are arranged in a line as shown in this figure number A. It is most appropriate for a system in which the part progress from one workstation to the next in a well-defined sequence with no backflow. The operation of this type of system is very similar to transfer type. Work always flows in unidirectional path as shown in this figure. Loop type FMS layout. The basic loop configuration is as shown in this figure B. The parts usually move in one direction around the loop, with the capability to stop and be transferred to any station. The loading and unloading station are typically located at one end of the loop in this figure. Then we have ladder type FMS layout. The configuration is as shown in this figure C. The loading and unloading station is typically located at the same end. The sequence to the operation transfer of parts from one machine tool to another is in the form of ladder steps as shown in this figure. Open field type FMS layout. The configuration of the open field is as shown in this figure D. The loading and unloading station is typically located at the same end. The parts will go through all the substations, such as CNC machines, coordinate measuring machines and wash station by the help of AGVs from one substation to another. And finally, there is the robot-centered type FMS layout. The robot-centered cell is a relatively new form of flexible system in which one or more robots are used as the material handling systems as shown in this figure. Industrial robots can be equipped with grippers that make them well suited for handling of rotational parts. So what are the factors influencing the FMS layouts? The various factors influencing the layouts of FMS are Availability of raw material, proximity to market, transport facilities, availability of efficient and cheap labor, availability of power, water and fuel, atmospheric and climatic condition, social and recreation facilities, business and economic conditions. Today's manufacturing strategy is to seek benefits from flexibility. This is only feasible when a production system is under complete control of FMS technology. Having in mind the process product matrix you may realize that for an industry it is possible to reach for high flexibility by making innovative technical and organizational efforts. For an example we can see the Volvo's process structure that makes cars on movable pallets, rather than an assembly line. The process gains in flexibility. Also, the Volvo system has more flexibility because it uses multi-skill operators who are not paced by a mechanical line. So we may search for benefits from flexibility on moving to the job shop structures. Actually, the need is for flexible processes to permit rapid low-cost switching from one product line to another. This is possible with flexible workers whose multiple skills would develop the ability to switch easily from one kind of task to another. As main resources, flexible processes and flexible workers would create flexible plants as plants which can adapt to changes in real time using movable equipment, 
knockdown walls and easily accessible and reroutable utilities. So, we have learned about the different types of flexible manufacturing systems, and the different types of FMS layouts. We will learn more about FMS in the next class. Don't forget to check our full playlist on flexible manufacturing systems, links given in the description.